Do you love chicken? You're going to enjoy discovering the world of your cuckoo. If whole chicken is your thing, choose from four sizes. Spring, Grilla, Standard or Muchomo. If you have a favorite piece of chicken, your cuckoo portions come in all shapes. Cuckoo puck, drumsticks, thighs, whole legs, wings, fillet, mince, fillet strips, tenderloins and gizzards. Or try our chicken samosas and chicken burger patties and discover how chicken makes as good a snack as any. Your Cuckoo is available in 16 Cuckoo shops across Uganda. Pukoto, Bugolobi, Wandegea, Chisasi, Nalia, Bulindo Chira, Old Kampala, Seguku, Entebe, Mukono, Jinja, Mbale, Barara, Kabale, and Hoima. You can also order a cuckoo delivery straight to your home using the Safe Border or Jamia mobile apps. Your cuckoo, absolutely chicken. Hi everyone, it's your girl Sheila Gashuma. Thank you for tuning in the Your Cuckoo Cook and Chat Show today. On the show we have a guest who is actually going viral on Instagram. Most people think that she's not to be um, that. But she actually is. Celine, introduce yourself to the people. Hello, my name's Celine and yeah. <laughs> she said yeah. <laughs> That's it, I dance sometimes on Instagram. Sometimes. sometimes. And then the other times, what are you doing? Cooking on Cook Snapchat. <laughs> And it's been a minute since you actually posted some know, cooking content. Yeah, I'm excited to be back and back in the kitchen yeah, cooking. Yeah. So yeah. We were telling us she needs to do like a dance and cook kind of thing with your cuckoo. So coming soon, coming, coming soon, soon, hopefully. We need to do it together. A hundred percent. Dancing content though is too long, man. I feel like... Uh, but you're always dancing. In, you're the, in the bar, <laughs> dancing. But uh, you know you have to be perfect and the moves and all. Anyway, That's what true, chicken true. recipe are you going to be sharing So with today us? we're going to be doing a stuffed chicken, mm -hmm. a spinach stuffed chicken. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be using Yokuku's chicken fillet, yeah. the breasts. So yeah. Um, should so be this is a chicken breast? Yeah. And then this is a spinach. Mm -hmm. We also have onions and green pepper over here. Yeah. Uh, we have our cheese as mm -hmm. well as the spices. And like I'll tell you guys exactly what spices I'm using okay. in a bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, should we get into it? We definitely need to get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start up by just chopping up the spinach mm -hmm. into small um, pieces. And then we're going to mix it all together okay. so it's ready to What do they say about ladies with long nails in the kitchen? I don't know, but I'm, Let's find I have out. long nails <laughs> in the kitchen. And I actually like your nails, they're pretty. I feel like thank it's okay for you to have long nails while you're cooking. I think it's... The whole thing of ladies can't cook without long nails, it's made up by men, you know? A hundred percent. Men Haters. who can't pay a clearing for their girl pants. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me for that. My section, my comment section is going to go crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. Don't hate, don't hate. I just like the fact that you know like different recipes. You don't know the typical Ugandan recipes. I love cooking different cuisines. Can you cook Ugandan like I chicken I love, soup? yeah. No, uh -uh. Can. Hmm. can you do like chicken luwombo? I, no. Okay, so I actually love luwombo. Mm -hmm. But to mm -hmm. be honest, I haven't yet learned how to properly tie up the luwombo. Uh -huh. But like I know like the, the basics. basics. Yeah, I know the basics. But you can do like Nigerian food. I love Nigerian food, you guys. Mm. I might I as well be Nigerian. Share, but uh, getting Nigerian uh, spices here, in you can take you a whole week. You need to call like all the Nigerian people you know in Uganda to True. get. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you do in your free time, like while you're in Uganda? Because I mean, you're in the US, right? You stay in, in LA. Yes. What do you do in LA? Um, in LA, I do digital marketing, mm -hmm. as well as I'm a swim instructor. So, mm -hmm. yeah. She used to be so good at swimming when she was younger. Yeah. Okay, till now, right? Till now. I mean, by the time you become a, a swimming instructor. A teacher. Instructor, you, Weren't you some, like in the competitions and stuff here? I used to, yeah. I, so I used to go to Rainbow and I used to be on the swim team. Mm. Shout out to all my Rainbow pe people. people. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're all done with the spinach. It's like chopped up roughly. And mm. then what we're going to do is go ahead and fry this up with the saute it in, in a, on the frying pan with mm. onions, garlic and some olive oil and then season it up as well. Do you prefer the powder or the, the garlic I powder or the... prefer like fresh, fresh gin, garlic, ginger, sorry. like everything I'm so fresh. sorry, next time. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, show us. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to a frying pan. And then heat that up. You then want to add your onions. Yeah. 
so we're gonna add some coriander to this some garlic flakes mixed spices and then you want to add your salt as well Okay, and give it a stir. And then you want to then add in your cheese. Cream cheese usually works best for this recipe. So yeah, and then you just mix that in there. And once that's done, you go ahead and stuff your chicken. Once you're done with the spinach, you then just want to season up your chicken with some salt. I like really, really seasoned, like, properly mm -hmm. chicken. Let's season one side and then we'll go ahead and season the other side. I'm also using some sweet and sticky chicken seasoning. Are you the type who uses, like, so many spices? Um, yes. Especially if it's chicken. I don't know why. Like, yeah. I think chicken has a smell to it. Mm -hmm. So I just, like making it not smell like chicken. Yeah, yeah. I feel like people who don't cook with like so much spices, I find that odd. Very, like, very oh, you're odd. you on a budget, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, the spices <laughs> I'm using here are, I'm using some chili powder, mm -hmm. royco, chicken masala, garlic powder, coriander, mm -hmm. mixed spices, and mixed herbs. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mm -hmm. all of that on this. You don't actually mix it? Mix this all of it yeah. together. No, it's all going on the same thing. Oh, so okay. eventually, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my rings as well, and then flip it over. Do the same thing. On the other side. On the other side. Oh. So for the chicken, yeah, for the chicken breasts, I flip them over. I cut them into like halfway. Mm. I cl cut slits in them basically, and then pounded them down a little bit so they could, you know. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna mix Spread it. all of this yeah. in. I would actually mix the spices all together. Before and then, and then put it. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're smart. <laughs> I should have done that. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. But yeah. Do that, and then I'm gonna drizzle a bit of olive oil as well on this, mm -hmm. and then start stuffing the chickens. Okay, drizzle some olive oil, a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and stuff the chicken breasts with the mixture that we mm, just... You just made it, she looks amazing. It smells good as well. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So yeah, you want to get enough in there and then fold it over. Then for the second one, go ahead and get a good amount of the mix. Put it right in the middle, and then you want to fold the chicken into half. So yeah, it should look like something like this, where one side isn't cut, and then the other side's open, and then as well as, okay, this side isn't the best, but you know. <laughs> you then want to get your baking tray and grease it. Mm -hmm. And the oven is um, already preheated to 375 degrees, I believe. Mm. And yeah, you just place those on the break baking tray. Ooh. And then drizzle so easy, it with a bit hey? of olive oil. Do you want to help me drizzle the olive okay, oil? Cool. Thank you. Mm, not too much, right? Not too much. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about 30 minutes and then you guys will go ahead and see what that looks like after. Okay. So after 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, your chicken is going to be ready, nice and crispy. And now we can go ahead and do like a taste mm -hmm. test. Do you want to go first? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... Okay. Mm. 
I just love spinach so much. So the fact that it's actually inside the chicken. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Celine, you're actually such a joker. It's actually really good. It's really good. Your spinach already was like, I know that your spinach was already like a number one before. So now that it's in here and it's so soft. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really, really, really soft. It's nice, the chicken's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What would you rate it out of 10, if you were to rate it? 10 out of 10. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, I love it. I love that the spinach is really creamy and the chicken is crispy. Like, I mean, people can cook it in different ways. Mm -hmm. It can be like this, if well done like this, or medium yeah. done. Yeah. So just as um, if you want it less crispy, just put it in there for a little less time. Mm. So like maybe twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Be good. Okay. So you just added like the avocado as an yeah, extra. Yeah, I added avocado. Mm. Um, I I'm usually on keto, so I do high. Fat, low mm. carb. Okay. So yeah, avocado works perfectly as a side for me usually. All right. Yes. So what do you think about the ch the the chicken, like the fillets and stuff? I love yoguku chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they're the first brand that has different options. Options, yeah. So usually um, when I'm making like chipotle chicken, I mm. only want to use chicken thighs. Yeah. And so like the fact that they're able to like, have only separate, chicken thighs yeah. in a pack, yeah. Yeah. Saved mm. me so much hustle. Hustle, in yeah, in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to really come. We need to look for the spices. We try to look for them for you to show us that recipe, but maybe next time. So how can people follow you on Instagram, on Twitter, on um, Snapchat? You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Kamuhanji underscore. And then my Snapchat's mm. Celine Kami, but I'm less active on there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just find me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, what are you up to in 2021? Do we expect more dance videos on Instagram? Definitely, definitely. Some cooking content? Yes, I am working on the cooking, the Snapchat cooking show. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to cook as much when I'm in Uganda, but I want that to change. Mm -hmm. You know, here it's a lot easier to like yeah. get stuff done for you. True. But yeah, I do miss cooking. Mm -hmm. and I'll be sure to like post more content, mm -hmm. more food content. It was great having you on the show, Celine. Hopefully next time when you come, you'll share with us a Nigerian recipe. For sure. Yeah. yeah for sure. And thank you guys for keeping up. Thank you guys for watching. You can follow Yokuku on Twitter at Yokuku UG underscore UG on Instagram at Yokuku underscore shop. And yeah, leave us your feedback. What do you guys think? Any other recipes you want us to drop? We're definitely ready to drop them. Till next time, it's been Celine and I. Bye bye. Do you love chicken? You're going to enjoy discovering the world of Yokuku. If whole chicken is your thing, choose from four sizes. Spring, Griller, Standard or Muchomo. If you have a favorite piece of chicken, your cuckoo portions come in all shapes. Kukupak, drumsticks, thighs, whole legs, wings, fillet, mince, fillet strips, tenderloins and gizzards. Or try our chicken samosas and chicken burger patties and discover how chicken makes as good a snack as any. Your Cuckoo is available in 16 Cuckoo shops across Uganda. Pukoto, Bugolobi, Wandegea, Chisasi, Nalia, Bulindo Chira, Old Kampala, Seguku, Entebe, Mukono, Jinja, Mbale, Barara, Kabale, and Hoima. You can also order a Kuku delivery straight to your home using the Safe Border or Jamia mobile apps. Your Kuku, absolutely chicken.